Welcome to Greg Hansen's Video Notebook, brought to you by Sam Levitt's Furniture. I'm Star Sports Editor Ryan Finley, here with Greg Hansen. And Greg, here's why sports are the greatest things in the world. While we were not watching <laughs> on Sunday, Arizona's women's basketball team upset Stanford at home. They won 60 to 57 in what, for my money, is one of the most unlikely outcomes I could have ever thought of this sports season. Stanford is the class of the West in women's hoops, and the U of A women's team has been sort of historically bad. What happened? Hey, did you know Stanford has won 14 consecutive Pac-12 championships in basketball? No. Neither did I. <laughs> Do you know the last time they lost to a team with a losing record was 2004? Wow. So, I mean, this was monumental. I mean, you look at how Arizona was able to win that game. We both watched um, the TV feed of it. Can it starts with Candace Wortham, doesn't it? I mean, she might have been the best player for either team, and that is saying something. She was clearly the best player on the court. So I looked it up. Stanford has three McDonald's All-Americans, two girls who are on the USA team camp, a girl who was on England's Olympic team, and like, and a five-star recruit from Wyoming. Oh my God! That's their first six players. Wow! And Arizona has Candace Worthen, who is five-four. Right. She was the best player on the court. Wow! Wow! Is does this do anything, Greg, for the perception that Nia Butts's job is in danger? I mean. They had a almost historically bad season a year ago. They look just as bad this year. But, you know, they've had sort of this knack for beating good teams. They beat ASU in McHale Center a year ago. Now Stanford in McHale Center this year. Is this enough to keep her on staff for another year? When you say they have a knack for beating these teams, they lost to Cal Bakersfield, they lost to Toledo, and they lost to Stephen F. Austin this year. Mm -hmm. So beating Stanford once, and this isn't the best Stanford team, Probably the worst Stanford team in 20 years. Right. Worst is the wrong word. Right, worst. Right. But does that outweigh it? I, I was telling you the three questions I'm asked most by people I bump into are, what's wrong with Zeus? <laughs> is Sean Miller ever smile? And when is Nia Butts getting fired? Wow. And when is Nia Butts getting fired? <clears throat> Greg Byrne has been in her, in her corner so hard, mm -hmm. at least publicly so hard, that I think he's still in there. Right, and I think that if that a game like this can change a little bit of maybe the outside perception of people who don't really follow women's hoops, people who don't really follow, your average Tucson sports fan doesn't know that they lost to Cal State Bakersfield, right. the Roadrunners. Um, they just know that they beat Stanford at home and, and that that's a, a big thing. And, you know, I think Nia Butts is well-liked within the Kale Center. Oh, yes, yes, yes. She's certainly a personality. I've never had a bad exchange with her. It sounds like her players like her. I mean, might that be enough to keep her around until they can turn things around? She has one more year in a contract. I think she'll get that year. That'll do it for this episode of Greg Hansen's Video Notebook, brought to you by Sam Levitt's Furniture. For Greg Hansen, I'm Ryan Finley. We'll see you next time. For over 60 years, January has been clearance month at Sam Levitz in Tucson. And right now, today, Sam Levitz has reduced over $15 million of home furnishings inventory for the biggest January clearance sale ever. Don't miss blowout clearance items marked down 44, up to 77% off while they last. Everything's marked down to make room for new arrivals. Plus, there's special no interest financing for up to 72 months. So get your new furniture or mattresses now with same or next day delivery. But don't miss the biggest January clearance sale ever at Sam Levitz.